me about Arvonia. Well, Arvonia was founded in 1869 as a Welsh settlement. Um, there were over 700 people there at one time. The school was built in 1872, the church in 1883, and the township hall was built in 1916. The original one burned down. Okay. You both have Welsh heritage. Um, tell me about the items that you have and the significance with the Welsh heritage. The daffodils are actually the national flower of Wales. And um, you'll see a lot of us during events and stuff will be wearing daffodils either in our clothes or in our jewelry or whatever. Um, but it is very significant of uh, Welsh culture for the daffodil. And then I have the Welsh dragon, which is on the Welsh flag that Michelle has. And we had included an American flag because we are Welsh Americans. And it was very important to the Welsh people when they came over to assimilate into the United States and English was spoken first. They wanted the children to learn English even though they spoke the Welsh at home. Tell me about some of the events that you have out there, particularly like Christmas and things like that. Okay, well, we've had the Fall Festival actually since 2011, all but two years, and that's just an event for the whole Lebo community or anyone in the area that wants to come. We have hay rack rides, activities for the kids, and we furnish hot dogs and drinks, and then people bring covered dishes. Um, and then we, last two years ago, had the Christmas candlelight service, which was just fabulous. We had the church full. We couldn't right. fit any more in, and so we're planning on doing that again this year. When you took over Arvonia, the church and the school and the township hall were in bad repair. Can you tell me about what you have done and what needed to be done to bring it up to where it is today? Sure. Um, Michelle and I talked earlier because I said, well, how this all started out was the cupola on the school was leaning, and then it was leaning more and leaning more. So we thought, well, we have to do something about this. So that led to getting it repaired and then getting the buildings, the school and the church first on the state and national historic registries, and which led to getting grants with a fund with the Emporia Community Foundation with Match Day and just all kinds of things to get these buildings preserved and restored to where they could be used for events. Match Day has funded so many things for us. It helped us to restore the township hall and, it, and the interior. We can use it for events now. We have plumbing, it's the only restroom in all the buildings, and it helped us with getting light fixtures for the church, and we searched high and low. We were supposed to be funded to get ones made for it, reproductions, and we actually found some and were able to get them restored. So, and I had someone just walk in this last weekend, and he said, oh, these lights are fabulous, so. And the exposure that Match Day provides, too, is huge because we're still in the process of building a presence for a website, not just Facebook and advertising that we do elsewhere. But I think introducing people through the exposure we get through Match Day brings them in and it builds interest in them, researching their own families if they have Welsh heritage and learning things they didn't know and so many interesting things about our history, myth, legend, fact, and lore <laughs> are absolutely amazing to find out, and the more digging you do, the more interest you become in your own genealogy. You need to come and visit so you can see what it's all about. Call and let us open the buildings up for you. Yeah, the day before match day actually is a great time for people to drive through because there's gonna be a Welsh cake drive through. And so for people who love that little bit of sweet something something, you can do a drive through and grab a bag of Welsh cakes. And Tell us about Welsh cakes. Well, Welsh cakes were made, they're made on a griddle and they were made to go down into the coal mines with the coal miners with their lunch. And they are made with flour, sugar, butter, eggs, nutmeg, and probably cinnamon. cinnamon. Probably a little cinnamon. It's just a fantastic place. And it has one of the most beautiful cemeteries in the world, just um, west of Arvonia, Beth Welsh Cemetery with the Catalpa trees, and it's a great place to wander and, and look at tombstones, and especially if you're searching your own heritage. But the buildings are beautiful, the history is rich, and if you have any Welsh in your background at all, it's a great place to start and dig and learn, and we might even teach a few Welsh words. We could do that. Then Valerie down. thank you very much. She's the advanced student. <laughs> <laughs>